what I'm happy about today is the new microphone arrived because my other one died a while ago so the audio quality has not been as good recently so hopefully you notice a massive difference because there definitely is going to be a huge difference with this new mic. So now to the topic of the video. Well two days ago I made a video talking about me switching from a relationship dynamic known as polyamory to monogamy. If you don't know what polyamory is that's where you can be with as many different people intimately as you desire. Monogamy is just where you're with one person. If you haven't seen that video and you want to watch that you can click the link that will be up above now. And as I mentioned in that video, I am now in a monogamous relationship with someone currently, and that is a woman. And I asked people, do they want me to make a video talking about this new intimate connection that I'd had at this current moment that's still continuing to go on? And quite a few people said they wanted me to talk about it, so this is why I'm making this video now. So for anyone that wants to know her age, I'm 31, she's 41 years old. So she's actually quite a bit older than me. But something I want to make you aware of is most of my girlfriends for years and years and years have normally been about 10 to 11 years older than me. And that isn't me just seeking out older women. It just seems to be a reoccurring theme. And not to generalize, but what I'd say is a lot of time I find older women are just way, way, way more evolved. And they've embodied the divine feminine more and the divine masculine i had a fly going in my ear <laughs> and yet just a lot of time i find with younger girls they're just not nowhere near as evolved but yeah you can meet older people that are not evolved as well because not everyone is pursuing a conscious lifestyle they're not very aware and very mindful and so forth so like i said it's not just a broad statement where it's like all women that are older are more evolved and all younger girls are not at all because sometimes you can find young girls and they're way more evolved than older girls but there seems to be a tendency normally in my life that most of the women are way, way more evolved. And I'm someone that is very, very evolved. And I want someone that's very, very conscious, pursuing the life of their dreams, that is abundant, that has good communication skills, that knows their purpose and passion and is pursuing it, and so forth. And a lot of time people don't work out this stuff until later in life. And for anyone wondering, does she have children? No, she does not at all. And I worked out recently that for me, I don't really want to be with someone that has children for my own reasons that I'm not going to go into. So yeah, I didn't know that this was going to happen, but as with pretty much all of us, we don't know when someone amazing is going to appear in our life and we're forming an intimate relationship with them. All I knew was I went through an experience recently where over the last few weeks, I was trying to connect with different girls intimately and just kept attracting the wrong ones and that were not completely compatible and aligned with me. And then I just got to a point of remembering what I've said to people before and what I know within myself, and that is just don't go looking for love. Allow love to come to you. Rather than trying to force it, just be patient, follow your heart every single day as much as you possibly can. Do the things that you love doing and just be the best version of yourself and put yourself out there where you could possibly meet someone that would be in alignment for you to have an intimate connection for but don't force it at all and when the time is right they will come into your life in some magical way or non-magical way but a lot of time for me they come in very synchronistic situations these females that I have amazing intimate connections with so I did exactly like that I was being patient and I just allowed it to flow in to my experience because a lot of time people can just try and force things and when you're forcing something you're actually stopping it from being able to be manifested into your experience so I just accepted what was going on within my life and I was just like okay I'm not going to keep chasing all these girls and trying to make it happen and then a series of different events happened not long ago where I just interacted with this girl for literally a few minutes due to a friend started talking to her and I was about to leave this is the shortest story possible and I was like oh, okay like I've got to be somewhere but I meet someone else but I'll come over quickly interacted and I had this experience happen where I interacted with her very briefly and then we hugged and then left and said I wanted to connect with her online to 
get to know her more because I felt drawn to her. She seemed like-minded. And afterwards, I just felt blown away, like energetically, the effect she had on me. I felt supercharged, so excited, so alive, just like, whoa. Like, the intensity of the attraction for me to go towards her was just so, so strong. It blew me away. And I've never had it that strong, except for one time in my life. And that was with my partner, Sophie, who passed away around two years ago. So it's a very rare phenomenon, at least for me to happen in my own personal experience from the different connections that I've had and only having this happen two times. So that's really, really amazing. And then, do you know what happened? When I went, my friend was with her every couple of hours, they went to go to bed and I couldn't fall asleep for about three hours because I just felt so much excitement and just thinking about this girl like crazy amounts. I haven't had this with any other girl that I've been attracted to. It's just like, whoa, man. You know something special when that's going on. So then, after then, we've been pretty much meeting up every day, connecting really, really deeply, getting to know her inside and out. I don't waste any time. I'm a person that asks people very big questions and really asked the right questions to find out whether they're compatible or not for me to be in an intimate connection with. I just don't want to mess around. I want to make sure that I'm getting in an intimate connection with the right person rather than the wrong person. I mean, just being connected emotionally, so deep, and we're both meeting each other's love languages, and it's just an amazing connection. And I'm not going to go into too much detail around the whole thing, but I'm going to make a video with her soon. She doesn't know that, but she'd be more than up for doing it. She's actually made couple of YouTube videos for she wants to start doing them more so recently and getting really into Instagram she has one and if anyone wants to know what a profession is she's a yoga teacher she's been practicing yoga for 19 years I've never seen someone that is so good at yoga for her flexibility and mobility is profound she has actually set me a challenge to start doing yoga every day for 30 days so we're gonna do that together and she's gonna train me every single day for yoga and guide me through it and we're gonna document that so you can expect to see that video in about a month's time, which would be really good. So yeah, I've really found someone that is just pushing me to become a better version of myself and it's really in alignment for me. And it doesn't feel all that I'm trying to force it to make it work or she is at all, which is a really good sign. And it's just flowing between us just so, so well. So we are both over the moon. And this is exactly what she asked for as well. So that's what I mean, I'm not gonna go into full depth, when we make the video together, we talk about all the different things that we did to attract each other into this experience with each other and actually meeting each other. So make sure that you stay tuned for that video coming in the near future. And we're both just excited to see what is gonna happen in the future. And the more time we keep spending together, things just keep getting better and better and better. And it just feels so right, it feels so natural. And anyone that's into astrology, I'm a Sagittarius, my sun sign, which some people call the star sign, especially in England, and she's a Gemini. And if you don't know, these two astrology signs are a very good match, which is really, really interesting. I'm really into astrology. If you'd like me to ever talk about it more in other videos, I can. Just let me know down below. And man, what I say is because she's so fit and she's also so healthy, that is something that really, really makes me so attracted to her and she's as sexy as anything like oh my god and I remembered recently I said a long time ago I would love to be of a hot yoga teacher and she is exactly that and she's not just beautiful on the outside she is on the inside as well <sighs> yeah man life is just amazing when you really focus upon what you want and do the right things to allow into your experience it will come it may take time to come to you but as long as you're doing the right things to make it happen, it is inevitable in the end. Most people aren't aware of that, but yeah, there's something known as the law of attraction and we are the creators of our own experience. So you can either create what you want or what you don't want. And you're gonna create what you want or what you don't want, whether you're aware of it or not. So why not become aware of it and make the conscious choice to create less of what you want and more of what you want? Because that's what I do, makes sense to me sometimes. Yeah, you may have to go through some intense challenges. It may be really hard to get there, but if you're doing things for the right reason, doing the right things, man, you can have anything that you want. I even made a video talking about how you can create the life of your dreams. So if you're interested in all the different steps to actually make that happen, I'll link the video up above and you can click that and check that out now. And something that is so amazing, I've found for quite some time, a lot of women that I've met 
I meet them, connect to them, and it's just not necessarily compatible and it's not necessarily equal exchange where we're both getting our needs met and maybe one person doesn't feel they want to get their needs met. And a lot of time I found that a lot of females didn't want what I wanted and didn't want to meet certain needs. But in this connection, the exchange is so equal. The amount of love and attention she gives me and gratitude and appreciation and caring, like loving, nurturing ways that she is and all these other things, it's just completely equal and balanced. It feels so mutual. So it doesn't feel that it's like one person giving more than the other at all, which is just such a relief. It's like, man, it's so, so good. I can explain it in words, but it's way more than what I can put into words. And when I connect with her, and we both feel into our heart space, it's just like, man, it's a very spiritually profound experience that a lot of people don't ever get to truly experience. So yeah, <laughs> man. Life was already amazing, but now life is even more amazing. I don't need someone to complete me, but to share a human experience with someone else that is so like-minded and enhances your human experience and you get to be intimate with them, it just takes it to a whole other level. So remember, yeah, you don't need someone else to complete you at all. You want someone in a way where you still have autonomy and you're interdependent rather than codependent which a lot of people end up in that situation where it becomes this type of dynamic known as the love addict and love avoidant. And it can just be very traumatic. There can be emotional abuse and it's just like, pfft. I know all of us have experienced that in our lifetime for sure. So yeah, I'm really happy to be in this healthy, conscious, intimate relationship. It's really early on, but I'm telling you, most days I've been spending around eight hours with her other days like four hours say say anywhere from four to eight hours and those times when we spent together is really getting to know each other inside and out shadows and like aspects like all the gritty stuff and all of like the swamp stuff but all of the positive stuff as well like asking about like what are like your childhood traumas? What are the issues that you've had in past relationships for? What are the complaints past partners have had with you in the past? What certain things do you need to work on that are issues for you? Do you want children? What do you want later in life? Just really, 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 really being in a way which someone could say it's like being interrogator, but it's not in that way where it's like you're at a police station and maybe you're being interrogated for some crime or something. It just feels a healthy way to really know what we're both getting ourselves in for because we are both knowing exactly what we want and what we don't want and we don't want to waste any time so we've really done things in a way so we can work out as soon as possible if there's any incompatibilities and then if there was any serious ones where it means we couldn't be together then we wouldn't be together but there doesn't seem to be any and we just keep finding more and more compatibilities and it just yeah it's so good, as I've mentioned many times, and I will keep saying it again and again and again. So yeah, that's it for this video. And if you'd like us to make any other different types of videos together, let me know down below. And if you're not already following me on Instagram, make sure that you do follow me on Instagram. There'll be a link down below, and there'll also be the name here, because I am starting to do some Instagram stories where I'm showing some of the yoga poses that she's doing, which is really, really cool. So if you want to see her a bit more, then you can. And yeah, if you like the video, like it down below, give us a thumbs up, please share this with others. And don't forget to click that subscribe button down below to receive a lot more videos from me talking about my lifestyle. Also showing you calisthenics, workout and progression videos, intermittent fasting and dry fasting videos, weight loss videos, and many other different videos to inspire you and motivate you to become a better version of yourself and create more of what you want within yourself and within your life and your body. And also teach you the information to get those results and many other amazing ones that I've managed to and many other people that have followed my information consistently over time to get those results and many other life-changing amazing ones. So if they sound good to you, make sure you click the subscribe button down below and you click the bell notification button next to the subscribe button. Otherwise, YouTube will not notify you of when new videos are uploaded. So as always, stay fit, stay energetic, and go get those gains. Peace. <laughs>